What is going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new NASCAR 21 video. Um, today we're going to be checking out Dev Diary number 3, The People. Um, I have watched this, but I'm going to let it play. I'm not going to pause it. I'm not going to say a word to after the trailer to the Dev Diary is done. Um, and then I'll kind of give my thoughts, my opinions, some stuff I noticed. And, um, yeah, so let's uh, check it out. Side look at NASCAR 21 Ignition. We're wrapping up our three-part Dev Diary series by looking at the people who made this ambitious project a reality. This game was made possible by people from across the globe, and we cannot thank them enough. NASCAR 21 Ignition is a title we've built from the ground up, and contrary to what some people might think, we've moved on from what came before. This is absolutely not NASCAR Heat 6. Uh, it's, it's not a NASCAR Heat game. It's a whole new franchise, and I think it's a great um, place that we're rolling into uh, with you know, a lot of what we're focused on is authenticity and bringing out real aspects of the of, of stock car racing in what this game is. For the 2021 game, uh, I think there's been a heavy focus on uh, really just making sure that the Cup Series is, is as, as competitive as it is. When you sign up for a team in the career mode, uh, you're going to go straight to a Cup team and get those offers. But it's going to focus on hitting those marks and doing what you need to do for that team to, to prove that you belong there. I think the ability to, to go out there and, and put yourself in a Cup car not everybody gets to do that. Even Xfinity drivers don't get to do that. There's a ton of drivers who come up through NASCAR who never make it to the Cup Series. You know, but this game is going to give you the opportunity to jump right in, be a Cup driver, and feel what that experience is like. And I think that's something that a lot of the fans are really going to enjoy. And we hope you do enjoy it. But don't rule out seeing Xfinity or truck drivers in the game just yet, because as the seasons progress, you might see drivers come and go. A name you might have heard a lot during the development of this game is Studio 397, the Netherlands-based team behind R-Factor 2. Their vehicle physics, tire modeling, and AI systems have been brought over for NASCAR 21 Ignition, and it's really something. Studio 397, you know, they bring a whole wealth of knowledge of racing games and, and uh, graphics and visuals that I think is super important as we move forward with the next iterations of, of the NASCAR game. Studio 397 has been awesome, um, not even just from a physics standpoint. We've worked with them for about the last year and a half on improving multiple areas of the game, including AI and dynamic track. Uh, a lot of what you see in NASCAR is related to the idea of being able to race side by side, or one guy runs the outside wall, that, that famous Kyle Larson line, or Tyler Reddick line now. You've also got the guys at bottom feed, like Kevin Harvick at Atlanta, they're just known to go down there. So a lot of what you'll see is dynamic AI racing between characteristics with the AI, but as well as just general AI line running. A lot of what we've done at 397 is not just enhance the fact that now we have a proper driving physics model, but now the AI have a little bit of dimension to them and they'll be able to run different lines and the player will be able to interact with that. As we look forward to the future of this game, I feel like they're going to play a crucial part in, in uh, how we evolve and how we continue to improve. If you look at some of the products that they've worked on that are out there now, I feel like those are some of the best uh, racing games out there. So if we can marry that with our, our NASCAR game and, and deliver that to our, our fans and our players, then I think it's gonna be highly encouraging. But getting Studio 397 in to give their expertise on physics and simulation is but one new avenue for NASCAR 21 Ignition. We have also shifted over to a new game engine, and the results, as you've seen so far, are stunning. Visually, we've moved to Unreal Engine from Unity, um, and that helps us in a lot of different aspects, but I think overall what that does is just bring us up in quality. The visuals, as you play this, are really what pop out to me, the speed when you're on in the car. A lot of what you see now is just a little bit clearer, crisper quality. Uh, the shadows, the sense of speed, um, the colorization, like it's hard to really put into detail what all that is until you see it. The things around the track that you don't even... No, let me say something really quick. I know I said I wouldn't pause it, but my man... With this beard, that is a handsome looking fucking beard. That's a good looking beard. Mustache, beard. To me, it's all the same damn thing. But that's a good looking mustache. 
can really think of. I'm sorry, I won't pause uh, no more. That are maybe flying in the air, planes flying in the air, balloons, things around the racetrack. They're not core to the game of, of racing, but they're they're added elements that I think just people really enjoy. Being driven by Unreal Engine really sets the foundation for what we're trying to do in the future with next generation titles, and we felt like was the best direction to move in visually. Studio 397 is just one piece of a larger puzzle. While we work directly with NASCAR in some aspects of the game, we also work with real NASCAR Cup Series drivers to get an insight into the sport only they would know. So we've worked with plenty of drivers in the past, uh, with Brad Keselowski, Joe Lugano, Ryan Blaney, and others, and we look forward to continuing that tradition moving forward with this current project and uh, in, in coming years. And I think they're all very excited for what we're building. I think they're very pleased with the direction that we're going in and what, uh, what we're providing as far as physics, visuals, and the cinematic approach. I think um, a lot of their feedback has been related to just how authentic it really is and feels and what we're going for. Their input helped us include a whole new dimension to racing in NASCAR 21 Ignition, an area it feels only drivers can tread. One of the biggest things about this game that we want to kind of showcase is we want to take the, the, the player and, and make them feel like they're a driver, make them feel like they're at the racetrack. And those moments in practice, there, there's so much going through your head that it's almost unconscious effort as far as, you know, getting back out of the garage and, and you know, going, going around the building, getting onto the racetrack, you know, that, that stuff is, it's so subconscious to where you're really only thinking about, you know, okay, I need to do this and hit my marks here, you know, this is what I'm looking for my car, this is what it was doing last time. You've got so many things happening rapid fire in your head because that's the moment where it gets real. You're counting down the minutes to go out, right? And I was like, all right, weekend starts now. Be pushed back out of the garage stall by your team members. That was one of the coolest things that I've seen. Uh, the national anthem and the flyover and just standing on pit road, you really get the feel of this is what it's like to be at the race. As somebody who's worked on race teams and been in the garage, it's been really cool to see that aspect, you know, to be sitting in the cockpit and be handed a data pad. And that's how you, you, you work your setups. You can see your lap times in there. Because you know, those are things that actually happen in real life. Now that's a great feature you guys are going to do. Um, just like you said, a little bit more immersive experience of what we go through. It's not just you know like other racing games. It's like all right, cars on pit road, roll out. You know, it's it's yeah, it's a whole different thing in the garage area. So it just makes you feel like all right, this is my car. This is uh, you know what I do. And then you can go back and look at all your data and stuff like that. It just gives you the full experience with me, which I think is a great addition. You know, a lot of people have sat in the stands or watched on television, but they might not have had a, a, a hot pass or the ability to get in the garage or on pit road. And I feel like we're trying to, to give them that experience and it really comes through. But the drivers weren't only offering their experience to NASCAR 21 Ignition. We also needed someone to be sitting in the virtual driver's seat. Taking a real life person and putting them into a video game isn't an easy task, but we got a bit of help from a load of cameras to scan the driver's heads and put them into the game. Looks like a pretty cool experience, right? I mean, it's, it's definitely a new experience getting scanned and uh, just looking forward to seeing what that turns into on the on the TV. You know, it's like I never actually thought about getting a chance to be in one. A lot of cameras, it was quicker than I thought it was going to be. Uh, but yeah, that's a little bit different. Never had that done before. I've seen a lot of stuff. Uh, I've been racing 33 years now and I've seen a lot of different TV studios and things like that. I have never seen nothing like that. That was more cameras per square inch than ever before in my life. It's a lot of cameras for sure, but it gave us some really detailed information that could be translated into the final models you see in the game. It's almost like scanning a track, but on a much smaller scale and not to eventually be driven over. But how much did it mean to these drivers to see themselves in a video game? Well, it, you know, it means a lot. You know, it, uh, you know, I remember picking my favorite drivers as a kid, you know, Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart, whoever, you idolize or really enjoy that person, that athlete, and that kids are doing that with me, um, that makes me feel like I was a kid again. It, it's hard for me to give myself some perspective that someone would want to, you know, get in a video game and like, oh, where's Cindy, you know? <laughs> I mean, that's that's something I, I struggle conceptualizing. Maybe that's just because I don't think that much of myself, but it, it is very cool, though, because that's where I've come to in my career. The platform it gives you to to interact with fans and, and do stuff like this to be in a video game, stuff that I would never imagine. Getting to be a part of the video game is, is uh, just something that, you never think about growing up because I mean I've played these games I mean as a kid and stuff and it's just like now to actually know that we're going to be in there and then you're going to see you know me standing in the game somewhere it's just honestly can't wait to see it it's just crazy to to think about that. Being involved with video games isn't anything new for many drivers on the grid with some of them even getting into the sport through playing NASCAR video games of old. 
I played a lot growing up. Um, now that was uh, a good time passer, especially in the bus where I'd travel with dad. The original NASCAR Heat game, it was probably like the one that I played the most. I, I also remember playing, I think it was NASCAR 2011, um, had that on PlayStation 3. And uh, when I was a kid, Brad Kozlowski came to my house. And we actually played there. We raced each other. I think I, I think I beat him one time. And it was like the coolest thing ever. It's amazing how far video games have come. Um, you know, racing video games, any kind of video game. But the racing stuff is is really neat to me because it's just getting more realistic each time. Um, and different tracks. It's a it's a cool way for fans to to play as their favorite driver or go to their favorite track, whatever. But yeah, I played a lot growing up, and it's uh, it's been neat to watch the progression. But in the same way the drivers of today found themselves obsessed with NASCAR through gaming, the next generation of fans, or even drivers, are getting involved in the sport through their consoles. There's a lot of new interest in the sport this time. We're seeing new owners in the sport. We're seeing new new fans entering the sport. People who have never seen NASCAR before ever are now interested in because all these big names like Michael Jordan and, and Pitbull are, are getting involved. Kids playing video games and, and getting introduced to the sport on at that level at home creates interest, right? You can't just go out and throw a basketball. You can't go out and just drive a race car. So it's, it's really your only connection as a race fan. I remember the same thing happened to me. You know, I, I started playing racing games. The next thing you know, my interest in racing goes up. I want to go to the racetrack. And, and I, so I think it's great. And I think it definitely helps you know, spark interest in young fans. When you have new eyes on the sport and you have new fan interest, I think it's important to have a new game at the same time that really allows them to get the feel of uh, what it's like to be at the racetrack, what it's like to drive these cars. And I think, you know, things that are going on behind the scenes that the development team and engineers know way more than I do. Um, I'm really, really encouraged. And the, from the, the week I started at Motorsport Games, uh, it, it's something that I've been really encouraged and can't wait for everybody to see. Building NASCAR 21 Ignition has been an amazing experience for all involved, and we hope you've enjoyed an exclusive look into how we've made the game across this series. We set out with the goal of creating an experience truly representative of being behind the wheel of a NASCAR Cup Series car, and the hard work put in by our teams all over the world has resulted in something we're really proud of. NASCAR 21 Ignition pre-orders are live right now, and we can't wait to see you on the track come October 28th. It's what we came to do. It's what we came to do. All right, so we're gonna take it all the way back to the beginning. Um, we'll turn this off. We're gonna go through. Um, just a couple things that I noticed, a couple things that I like. This isn't going to be a full breakdown video. Um, but I'm just going to point out some things that I've noticed. Now, keep in mind, there's going to be some stuff that I miss. So, hopefully, you guys don't go too hard on me. So, this shot right here looks amazing. All these people on pit road, the pit stalls, pit boxes. Um... You know, it's just not really copy and paste. They're like, there's one tire up here, two up here. Of course, two up here, but then this one here is kind of really different from the others. You know what I mean? So, um, lighting looks good here. Cars look good. Track looks good. Looks amazing. I must say, I must say, this right here is probably it's not just because of Larson out front it, they could have had anybody double zero could have been up here this shot right here looks incredible it looks really freaking good I'm really excited for this game this right here didn't know so I'm guessing they're gonna have like maybe interviews Pre-race, post-race interviews, possibly. Dry, looks just like them. Face scanning's done well. Um, you see different things going on in the background. Ferris wheel. I don't know if this is like a plane or something right here. I know it's kind of hard to see. We got hot air balloons. Bunch of people on pit road. Camera, man. Okay, I thought the camera was messed up. Looks good. Looks real good.
Watkins Glen looks good. Looks amazing. Um, it looks incredible. It does. It does. This shot here, which is really cool, is they could have just took this from like a camera like from far back um, and went ahead and did it. But watch this clip. Of, of the garage right here. See how it's like walking up like a camera view? Like someone's holding a camera? That's incredible. Inside the cars. Looks incredible. Fire suit. Custom helmet. Looks really, really good. Like really good. Um, I'm really excited for this game. I am. This here, another thing that I noticed. We're going to stop it here. Now, as he starts coming out of this corner, and he hits this green, um, green section over here. Watch how the, the rear end of the car starts to get loose, and it kind of um, sits on the left rear, left side of the car. Watch. See how it kind of breaks loose a little? It's amazing. Just little details like that are really important. And, I mean, so far, everything we've seen is is incredible. There's some stuff that I wish was in the game that we haven't seen yet. But we'll get into that. Um, let's see. Looks really good to me. Eh. Certain spots of the game and the, some of the gameplay that we've seen, the cars are way too shiny. They almost look like, um, they almost look chrome, which they need to, to me, they need to tone down a little bit, but they look good. Looks better than we got now with Heat 5. Incre another in-car shot, incredible, in, in the garage. Looks good. R Factor, I play a lot of that. Daytona. Looks really good. Let's go back a little bit. Watch how the car gets a little loose on it. Yep, right there coming off um, another good shot here Truex Newman Denny lighting here looks really good really 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 good um, Bristol looks good I don't know why they're racing with the line on but looks really, 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 really good. I'm very, very, very excited. Um, let's find the clip I wanted to talk about here. Another pit road one, Bubba Wallace. Looks just like him. Incredible face scanning. They did an amazing job. Um. Another thing that I'm excited for. Getting pushed out of the pits. It's amazing. Looks incredible and I'm glad they fixed not the same person. Looks really good. Another shot of um, Cindric. Flyover looks incredible. Flag. Sky. Man, it looks so good. Um, but I want to get to one more thing. One more thing I want to get to. 
that I noticed. Let me see if I can find it. Right here. Is this it? I think this is. Let's uh, let's let it play for a second because there's something I want to point out. One thing that worries me a little bit. There's the slider. Slider adjust your car. Exit, select, previous, next. One thing that kind of freaks me out is do we have custom setups in this game? We haven't seen anything about custom setups, a tab, you know, nothing in any of the dev diaries, the trailer, um, which kind of, kind of worries me because I know a lot of leagues use, uh, the slider, but mo you know, a lot of them also use custom setups and that kind of, are we going to get custom setups in this game? I sure to hell hope so. Um, which kind of, like I said, kind of worries me a little. Um, we're going to go over to here. Uh, let's see. We're going to go here. And we're going to take a slow-mo peek at the, um, uh, paint booth. Now they said this was a full paint booth. Full paint booth. So, um... Let me get ready. I gotta pause this. Um, are we gonna be able to put whatever we want on the car? Uh, like what different letters? Is that possible? Um, like if I wanted to put my name on the car, can I put my name on the car? Um, Talladega. Didn't see any damage there. Looks really good again. Dirt. Bristol dirt, I think. I'm most excited for. Again, I'm excited for the entire game, but I think Bristol dirt is what I'm like super pumped up about. Okay, so. Um, we're going to try to pause it here at the, okay, so you got Chevy, Ford, Toyota. Now, for example, like, um, NASCAR 14, NASCAR 15, where you can just, you know, it has like this certain letters that you could put on the car or you can make like, you could put your name, uh, you could put, um, like your last name or whatever you wanted to write out you could put on the car um, I didn't see that it's just a lot of paints uh, side skirt roof rails wheels wheel stripes uh, got some pretty decent fonts but I'm hoping we get to put kinda of whatever we want 
on the card. Like, if I wanted to put Thunderstruck, like, somewhere on the card, which is my, um, my league that I'm in. Like, if I wanted to put Thunderstruck on the hood, on the, on the bumper, the side of the car, the top of the car, am I able to do that? Because so far, we haven't seen that. Um... So that kind of worries me a little bit along with the custom setups. Um, got some, got a lot of sponsors it looks like, well not a lot but there's a nice amount. Um, Roush, Loves, um, Dude Wipes, Creek Enterprise. Units, Speedy Cash, Monster Games, NASCAR 21 Ignition. It's nice too, you can put these decals on the vehicle and put them any size they want. Place them anywhere you want. So hopefully, again, you can put whatever you want. Like Thunderstruck, I, like if I wanted my name on the hood, I could. Um, um, say if you know you're a league owner and you guys are sponsored by somebody and you want to put that sponsor on the vehicle are we able to do that we don't know we really don't know yet so um i know uh sony had a problem with not well, had a problem with the pre-order where it took like a month and a half just to get a pre-order. Some people find that important. Some people don't. Me, I'm very impatient. I like to get stuff done. Um, but in case you didn't know, pre-order on Sony, on PlayStation, is now available uh, for the Champions Edition and the Original Edition. So it is now available. But I just wanted to point a little couple things out that... You know that I've seen, that I liked, that I'm a little worried about. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We are getting so close to the 400 subscribers. So make sure you guys subscribe, like, share. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace. Oh, by the way, tell me what you guys think of the game. Put it down in the comments. And uh, I'll read some of them, give my thoughts in there. And are you guys excited? Did you guys pre-order yet? Let me know. Anyways, see you on the next video.